Have a nice day, everyone. I will explain how to create the aircraft maintenance program. This is my training in Lockheed. McDonald Douglas. Okay. Tense 1994. Maintenance program and production control. The source is here. As we used that sources before. <clears throat> the first one the IASA. This is the IASA. Annex 1, Part M, which includes all the documents. If you go to this reference and go to the page 100. 53 to show I will show you but this is the reference here write this reference and search in, on Google you will find it this is the IASA the second source is the FAA this is advisory circular number 120-16-F, take care, F, not E. If you search about this, you will find it in Google, and then download this. This is PDF, okay? If you read these two sources, we will go to the conclusion here. This is the page 153 of 253. This is the general requirements in the maintenance program. You must note the type, the model, the type Airbus or Boeing, the model, a320 or B737 dash so and so and the registration number or serial number of the aircraft and put also the engine type and the APU also the name of that and address of the owner operator or camo camo which applied part m out of the owner out of the airline the reference the date of issue and issue number of approved maintenance program a statement signed by the owner or operator or camo managing the aircraft airworthiness to the effect that specified aircraft will be maintained the program so for these points you must write the type of the aircraft the model the engines the APU and the issue date and the number of the issue okay after that the contents of the effective page and the revision status check period which affect anticipated utilization of the aircraft such utilization should be 
stated and included a tolerance of not more than 25% where utilization cannot be anticipated. The procedures for escalation or de-escalation provision to record the date and reference of the approved details of brief light maintenance task that are accomplished by the maintenance staff. So the brief light, the after after landing check, transit check, uh, daily check, uh, ramp check, or weekly check, or service check. This is the line checks on the line. The task and the period interval required at which each part of the aircraft engines, APUs, propeller for not jet, components, accessories. So, the period of which components should be checked, cleaned, lubricated, replenished, adjusted, and tested. If applicable, details and aging aircraft system if the aircraft is old aging aircraft. If applicable details of a specific structure maintenance program were issued by the type certificate holder. If applicable also details of critical design configuration if applicable also a statement of the limit of validity in terms of total flight hours total flight cycles okay the periods at which overruled and or replacement by new or overruled components should be made. A cross-reference to other documents approved by the agency which contain the details maintenance task related to mandatory life limitation <clears throat> to prevent inadvertent variation to such tasks or intervals these items should not be included in the main portion of the maintenance program documents or any planning control system which specific identification of the mandatory their mandatory status details of or cross reference any required reliability program or statistical method of continuous surveillance a statement that practice and procedures to satisfy the program should be to the standard specified in the, the certificate type holder. Maintenance and instructions. In the case of approved practices 
and procedures that differ, the statement should refer to them. Each maintenance task could it should be defined in a definition section of the program. If you go to the page 221, this is how to revise the, the first issue of the maintenance program. You want to review it to approve. So this is a procedure to review the maintenance program to go to the head. Now we go to the FAA. I will show this source. This is the FAA. We spoke about that. That the number here, if you go here, I will show you in the other. This is the reference which I spoke about, the air, air advisory circular. In the part 1-7, page 4, we will see that air carrier maintenance program elements. This is the elements of the maintenance program in the FAA. Air awareness responsibility, air carrier maintenance manual, air carrier maintenance organization, accomplishment and approval of maintenance um, alteration, maintenance schedule, required inspection items, RII, maintenance record keeping system, contract maintenance, personal training, CASS, okay, the table, this is the Egyptian guide. This is the Egyptian guide here. Table of contents forward. I will show you the Egyptian. Okay. That is the Egyptian guide. I think that is the Egyptian is more easy and more simple. I will issue a post it in the article okay the second video i will show you how to create section two section two which show you this is the section one and the section introduction section two the maintenance check this is need hard hard work the second video i will explain how you create this section thank you very much and don't forget if you see that the contents of the this channel is useful please subscribe Goodbye.